That track, called Telstar, was written and produced by the very eccentric Joe Meek. And not a lot of people know this. The rhythm guitarist on this track is a guy named George Bellamy. He's the father of Matt Bellamy of Muse, a band whose catalog is filled with sci-fi inspired songs. But I'm kind of getting ahead of things here. There were various Space Age songs released through the 1960s, most of which were pretty cheesy, although Pink Floyd was able to nail down some pretty decent psyche tracks. But then came July 11th, 1969. Apollo 11 was about to leave on its historic mission to the moon when a former mime and a pretty directionless pseudo-folk singer named David Bowie presented a song inspired by Stanley Kubrick's movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was the right song at the right time. The BBC picked it up for use as a theme song for their moon landing coverage. It was also used in newspaper and magazine ads for a tiny neo-synthesizer device called a stylophone. That's the instrument making the keyboard-like sounds on the record. The song became Bowie's first hit song in the UK. It was a stiff in North America. It didn't get any higher than number 124 in the charts. But it became an even bigger hit when it was re-released in 1973. And then it was re-released again in 1975, and it became an even bigger hit. And now it's considered to be a rock and roll classic. Now, I think we've all heard the famous version of the song. So what I want to play for you is a live demonstration of the track and the stylophone that Bowie gave to the BBC in the spring of 1968. Give this a listen. <laughs> 